We have some massive news coming out here. Uh, Colton Miller, the Las Vegas Raiders starting left tackle, has officially missed his third straight practice, and he is listed as doubtful going into this game coming up against the Jets, and I want to talk about it today. Uh, Miller, who's been fairly healthy over the course of his career, uh, I believe he's only ever missed one game coming into this week, and I don't know what the hell happened to this guy. Like, he finished the entirety of last week, and at no point were there any indications that this guy may have had some short, sort of shoulder injury or a shoulder issue or anything like that. But here we are at the point where he is doubtful. He has not practiced this week. And something's tell me, telling me that this injury may be worse than what we realized because we did go out and we brought back Brandon Parker. And we're now at the point where we're about to roll into this game with uh, three tackles, right? And we're not 100% sure exactly who's going to end up starting where. But my expectation is, is that Jermaine Illuminar will start at left tackle and Theron Munford will start at right tackle. Uh, last season, Colton Miller missed his very first ever NFL game against, I believe it was the Denver Broncos. And at that time, Jermaine Illuminar was the starting right tackle and he swapped over to the left tackle spot. And then Mumford ended up starting at right tackle. So I would expect that that's how the Raiders kind of roll forward for the, for the remainder of until Colton Miller comes back healthy. And then Brandon Parker, I would assume would be the backup, but keep in mind, Brandon Parker has not played this season, right? The guys, you know, when the Raiders released him, the guy never got picked up. He never went out and signed with another team. And uh, that's a little concerning to me because, you know, I don't think Brandon Parker is that good of an offensive lineman. And I think, you know, if Thayer Munford were to get hurt again, right, keep in mind Munford missed last week. If Munford were to get hurt again, what does that leave the Raiders at, right? Well, we'd have Brandon Parker kind of stepping in at the right tackle position. And I'm just not sure if that's how the Raiders should move forward. Um, you know, it's interesting because we had reports that actually came out that the Raiders were considering drafting the offensive tackle that the Jags ended up taking late in the first round. Uh, and that is Anton Harrison coming out of uh, Oklahoma. We had heard reports that the, Ra the Raiders were interested in him. They were potentially going to trade back to take him and have him be the Raiders long term right tackle. We had also heard that there was a possibility the Raiders were looking to get Paris Johnson Jr., who's now the starting right tackle of the Cardinals. And the Raiders ended up not doing it. They went forward with Tyree Wilson. And I'm not saying that's the wrong pick, but at some point, the Raiders have to invest in their offensive line. You know, Colton Miller is a, a really, really good left tackle. Uh, I think Colton Miller is one of those guys that's kind of underrated. Um, but then on the other end, the Raiders haven't really had a right tackle in a number of years, right? A guy that's solid. He's consistent. You can rely on him as the, the future. And I know we took Alex Otherwood in a year where, you know, we all wanted Christian Darisaw, but you know, the Raiders didn't pull the trigger at that time. And I think the Raiders are at the point where in this class coming up, you have to draft the right tackle. I don't think the Raiders are going to pick high enough to take either of the top two quarterbacks. And if they wanted to take, you know, a Quinn Ewers out of Texas, if they wanted to take uh, J.J. McCarthy out of uh, Michigan, those guys will be available with pick, you know, 12 or whatever the Raiders end up with. But. If the Raiders don't go with the quarterback, right, assuming that Aiden O'Connell is the real deal and we want to rule forward with him, the Raiders got to get a right tackle. There's just no excuses as we go forward. And it's it's more than just a right tackle, right? The Raiders have some issues on the offensive line, right? They got to fix the right guard position. They got to get a center that we can truly rely on as we go forward. Now, I will say the center is not as, as important of a position uh, because there's so many good centers out there, right? You only need 32 starting centers. Um, as opposed to guards and tackles, you need 64 of them, right? So I think finding a center is a little bit easier, but the Raiders got to figure it out, man. The offensive line could get into a spot where, you know, if Colt Miller ends up missing two or three weeks, and let's say third month for re-aggravates his injury, you know, what are we ruling forward with at the tackle position? All right, Jermaine Illuminor hasn't played good this year. The guy literally lost his starting right tackle position. Um, and I do think that as he kind of lost that position, Two weeks later, Munford got her. He came back and he looked good this past week, right? There's, there's no question about it. The guy really stepped up. Uh, but now he'll be making the transition over to the left side and that's its own thing to kind of worry about on, 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 on its own, right? So it's going to be interesting as the Raiders kind of go forward. Now, obviously everybody knows this Jets game is massive, right? It's a massive, massive moment for the Las Vegas Raiders. If you lose this game, uh, your season's 100% over at that point, right? Because, you know, at that point, you'll be four and six going into two of your hardest games on the schedule. And they're back-to-back -back weeks. The Dolphins lost. 
last week. They're on a bye this week, and we play them next week. They're going to be fired up to, to, to score 70 points against the Raiders, right? So I think you got to win this game for sure. And then I think you got to at least split over the next two games after this week, right? So this week's very, very important for the Raiders to get the win. Plus, it's on Sunday night football. So I think, you know, that kind of adds a little bit more to it. I think there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of people out there that watched the last Raiders primetime game against the Lions and this team and said this team's garbage. When in reality, we know our team's not that bad, right? What we saw against the Giants, that's more so what the Raiders actually are. Um, we had a really good offensive line last year that's underperformed this season. Uh, we have a running back that hasn't really gotten it going, hasn't had a hundred yard game yet. Um, and maybe that happens against the Jets, right? We'll see. Uh, even our defense is much, much improved. So against the Jets this week, I think we're going to find out a lot about this Las Vegas Raiders team. But we will be going forward in this game without Colton Miller. So it is what it is. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.